where the black top ends that's where the going gets good come ride with me to the top of the farm we're gonna have some fun today hey everybody welcome back to the channel it's John here back out at the farm today we're gonna put in an electric fence I've never done that before. My twin brothers had good success in South Carolina. I probably should have done it a month and a half ago, but we got a food plot right behind me that I've planted. It's coming in great, uh, but I want it to look like that and stay like that until about a week before bow season, which is about five weeks away. And I'm also gonna try to protect the corn that's been devastated that I've shown in the last couple of videos, and we'll see how that works out. So come along with me, it should be fun. I bought some of this at Tractor Supply, some on Amazon, holding the galvanized grounding rod here. Got a second one right here. Let me show you what I've purchased. I bought two grounding rods. One of them's only maybe three, four foot. The other one's eight foot. And some people say you need three. The total length, if I am able to put it in, is gonna be about 900 feet. But, uh, but I'm gonna do three loops of that. So it'll be about 2,700 feet. So maybe it'll have to be more than that. Maybe add a third. But here's a 15 mile 0.25 joule uh, solar powered charger. I purchased this off of Amazon and charged that up. I got a fence tester. This is the connector for the charger. Uh, this is a underground rated 12 and a half gauge cable very stiff rated up to 20,000 volts which is what I was told I bought some electric fence poly wire I got some clips for t-post something to connect a little in and out gate some electrical working stuff 47 inch step in post 48 inch fiberglass I'm gonna try the difference between those I wanted the high vis of the white to maybe help deter the animals from coming in and then some six foot T-post. Of course, I forgot the T-post uh, driver. So that's going to be my T-post driver for today. It should make for a long day. And of course, Coke Zero. I saw a t-shirt the other day. It says, in case of an emergency, my blood type is Coke Zero. All right, let's get going. Don't knock over the Coke Zero. I'm just not gonna drive them a huge depth. It's only be, for, be there for five weeks at the maximum. All right. I got one grounding rod in. I don't have a hacksaw or a cut chop saw or anything. I'm gonna make this into two four foot sections rather than the one eight foot. And uh, we'll see how that works out. Then I'll have three total. I did bring a weed eater. I'll be able to weed eat, keep the brush off of this. Cause you don't want the electric grounding out on weeds. Just gonna put this on. Deer are pretty short. Basically, I'm going to connect this side. This is the rib side, so they can't slide up and down. And then I'm going to bring it on around. There's a little flexing of it, and then push the back, and it only has a little bit of play. But we'll just pull a little tension, let it hold that. We'll move on. 
Don't let perfection get in the way of progress. I'm actually gonna set this down because I'm gonna run a T-post down here so that I can put more tension on the line. I'm afraid if I don't do that, we'll just snap over our corner. Pretty amazing germination. I mean, this is exactly what you want it to look like just, you know, three weeks after planting. It is gonna be so full of food here shortly. Got a ground on that green side. You can see that there. That's where we're gonna connect our ground. I have the, the system set up. I've got it off right now. A four foot stake in, and then I drove the eight foot stake in, but I only got it four foot in, and then I'm gonna have to saw it off, but I have that hooked up. Uh, I'm gonna connect it. Just connect it to the, to the wire there. I'm gonna turn it on. And if you look closely, and I'll bring you up there. Can you see the green light? We're gonna I'm gonna test this. And again, due to the lighting, it may be difficult to tell 
exactly what we're getting as a reading. But I just have this tester and you basically put a ground into the ground and then you touch it to any of the wires and the top line that blinks is the most voltage and this is blinking 6,000 volts. 6,000 volts. So let's take a walk around the fence. I'll show you what I put up, my thoughts behind it on this kind of last minute idea of an electric fence to protect the veggies and a little bit of corn and then we'll, that'll give us an idea of what to do for next year. So it's got a little bit of a 3D effect. You may have seen other deer fences that have that. Here we go, we got some great food plot food coming in. As soon as the temperatures drop, that is gonna be delicious salad. Now I gotta be careful here because I got a hot wire right next to me. But I weed eat it underneath, weed ate. I'm not sure what the right word there is. On this, underneath this, and I'll have to probably do that at least once more. And I have the backside, and then I cut that path up into the corn and protected a little bit of the corn. First little bit of sun for the day. It's been cloudy all day. Fog may be finally burning off. So I didn't need to use all these white little posts or the gray ones, although the white ones are much more visible, which I want for the wildlife to be cautious. But I don't think I needed it. But this is gonna be good vegetables for the deer, even if the corn sucks. But that's what I'm trying to protect for our far We'll see how it does inside versus out. Right now it's equal. All right, I'm gonna test this. You'll probably have to take my word because you probably won't be able to tell. Hook this on. And it's blinking 6,000. 6,000 again. This is the farthest point. It's, it's a 15 mile fence. And this is not even a mile of fencing, maybe not even a half a mile. But we put the corner posts uh, as T-posts. I didn't dig them deep because I'm not gonna leave them here permanently. Uh, and they'll come out in about four weeks, three and a half weeks, and we'll just see if we can get three weeks of protected growth. Anyway, hopefully you had fun coming along with uh, the project today. They, we've got a little bit of corn protected. We'll see if there makes any difference, hard to tell. I should have done this a month ago. Just slow on the pickup, but I'll have it ready for next year if if it looks like it has promise, and I, th I think it will. Uh, we did do three strands, and the tallest is maybe four and a half foot. So I'm going to get back to the barn. Got to work on some plumbing. Got a skid steer coming tomorrow, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Remember, if you're not out there growing, guys and gals, you're dying. <laughs>